if you're buying any cards from TCG Player, please use the link in the description to help support my content. This video is sponsored by Photon Store, TCG Player, Pokemon Card.io, and Card Market. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video here at Tailman channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to be playing with um, another deck that has been doing very well um, since Evolving Skies came out. Just a pretty powerful card overall. We have Suikun V with its 210 HP. Its ability Fleet Footed allows you to draw an extra card if this Pokemon is in the active spot. And we have the Blizzard Brondo attack doing 20 damage plus 20 more damage for each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponent. So very nice card for sure. Reminds me of the very old um, Ludicolo, so it's very nice that we are pairing Suikun with Ludicolo itself with the Enthusiastic Dance ability, where when you place Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may use this ability, and during this turn, your basic Pokemon's attacks do 100 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So that is a way you can get one-shots on VMAXs. Um, if they have a full bench and you have a full bench with Ludicolo's ability, you do 320 damage, which is very nice. And if they try to limit their bench, then you also have the quick shooting ability to put two damage counters and help you with those numbers. Now we do have the fuller uh, 4 4 2 1 in tail in lineup. Like I keep mentioning, I would love to have an extra um, certain shield in tail in, in here, um, but I can understand why it isn't in here, um, mainly because of space constraints. But we do get the shady dealings of Drizzle and Entailion for consistency purposes. We also rely on Melanie to attach a Water Energy card from her discard ball to one of our Pokemon B. And if we do, we draw three cards. This is a very nice anti-crushing hammer card. So very important to have access to it. And we have the Capacious Pocket to search for Water Energies. We do have only five Waters, but that should be enough as we do recover them. And we have the consistency of the four Capture Energy, which I love. Four Capture, four Quick Will with the four main attackers and four soul and drizzle. It's just, it's all the consistency you could hope for, along with the level walls and the evolution incense as well. Research and Marnie round out the deck, along with puzzle sorters to target down the right Pokemon. Scoop up net to reutilize these abilities, along with Ludicolo. Escape Bro can be a game winning card a lot of the time. And we have Keep Off Toughness to increase the HP of Suikun all the way up to 260, and a Raihan as a way to recover energy and power up as well, with the Melanie, but also allowing us to search for a specific card rather than drawing three random cards. So let's jump into a ladder and see what we go up against right now. Um, presumably Shadow Rider, right? That's what we would expect. We do in the Gunkler, which is always very, very nice right here. And we are going to Mulligan. It seems to be happening a lot to me lately. It is what it is. All right, decent-ish start, not the best. Um, so it's unlikely that I get to attack, right? So I think I'm gonna start with a low dot actually, um, because I do get the call for family. I don't know what I'm up against. I am going first, however, just in case I do need to attack with call for family, okay. So I probably won't be Attacking with Call for Family, we'll see. Just gonna go ahead and pass here, unfortunately, with no Sugun and no Melanie Axis. So if I top deck Melanie, I can drizzle for Quick Ball. If I top deck Quick Ball or Sugun, I can drizzle for Melanie. So that would be pretty sweet. However, it's not very likely. Neither option is very likely. All right. <clears throat> to see the switch into Gresselia, so a very nice start for my opponent. Um, almost perfect, you could say. Just having the switching card in hand, the search for the Gresselia, the other Shadow Rider. So we don't get to attack with Suikun, we actually could be in a lot of trouble right here. Could actually be quite problematic to see the Alcrimi get benched. I'm guessing they're debating whether to play a supporter or not. Like they might have research and child rider. That could be the thing that they were debating. Um, okay, so I don't get the Suikun or the Melanie. 
still thinking I'm not a supporter, very unlucky. Um, I really can't afford to just get rid of every single thing that I have right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and Marty. I'll go ahead and establish the Suicune and I'll go ahead and Marty right here. Don't know what they had. Um, they did Blood Supporter, but they, they doubt it so much that I don't know. I have a feeling that they might have um, they might have had a good hand. Now, unfortunately for me, <laughs> I did not. Uh, that's a misplay on my part. I did not um, get a single energy. So I'm gonna go ahead and call for family. Establish these two. I am going to lose my Lotad here, which really sucks. And I'll still need to go through three Suicuns or two more Suicuns and another Pokemon, but. Really unfortunate that I didn't even get a single energy to attach. Um, my opponent will be very careful with their bench, I would assume. So the extra damage from Ludicolo and the quick shootings will be important. Or they can just end up benching stuff. That also works. All right, so we'll see research, getting rid of training court, more shower riders. So it would be pretty cool if I could one shot, like they're gonna take a knockout. I'm gonna take a knockout on the Cresselia and then we'll see what I get here. I'm gonna need a ton of cards for sure though. Okay. So there's no way for me to attack and boss in the same turn. So first things first, I'm gonna use Fleet Footed. Cause that might change what I end up needing to do. All right, that's fairly okay. So what I can do is do this, establish yet another Sobble for Drizzle Axis, and then I can go Melanie, right, onto the Suicune. Okay, I get the quick shooting just naturally, which is very nice. Um, so I have knockout on this. This is likely to be the attacking Pokemon, so I'm gonna target that guy down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I feel like I need a cape to potentially survive the next attack. I think that's gonna be important right here. So if I survive the next attack, that would actually be insanely good. So that's what I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab the cape right here. If I survive the attack, then I'm actually in a very good spot. And I have access to this Intellion, I have quick shooting available. 260 requires 8 times 3 is 24, so it requires 9 energies to knock out my Suicune V. Which is not doable with 3 abilities plus an attachment for turn. Without our Tikuno, it is not possible for my opponent to pull this off. Now, if they do evolve their um, all their VMAXs, then yeah, taking a knock on the Cresselia is basically useless or worthless. But if I survive this attack, then I'm actually in a fairly good spot. I would actually be in a fairly, fairly good spot. Okay, to get more need out of my um, Intellion and the Raihan. Like I said, I should be surviving this turn, which is pretty huge. And I get access to the Intellion anyways. Which I might have to. Nah. So double quick shooting is actually fairly nice. So I don't need it for a KO. Do they play any sort of tool removal or tool denial? I don't expect them to play tool jammer, but I would not be surprised if I see a tool scrapper. All right, so they are going to go for the Articuno which makes sense. It's the only way they can get a one shot. There it is. And they grow out. Okay, so we're going to trade KOs right here. Probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They do need two more energies, which I'm surprised they play a second Articuno and a Cresselia. So they're cutting Song Corner. They're also playing Path to the Peak as well. And Balbad, wow. 
They, I mean, they might only be playing a 1-1 one, one all creamy. That would be my first instinct. But yeah, they whiff the KO, which is absolutely fantastic. And I have very clean KO on this guy. Um, with the... Um, with the Ludicolo. So let me think this through. I have the knockout. However, I could also just go boss. Well, I can go boss KO the Crobat next turn, right? Yeah, I think it's better to just pull off the Crobat this turn. I mean, not the Crobat, the Ludicolo. So this gets me Ludicolo. This gets me Rare Candy, or this gets me Intillion. Yeah, I think if I get Intillion into Rare Candy and then I get Energy, I think that's better. Well, either way, I'm one card short, actually. Either way, I have the Energy. Okay, I'm definitely playing this, either for this Intillion or the Ludicolo. I get this Intillion, I still need Rare Candy and the Incense. And then off of the Drizzle, I guess I could just go for a Marnie. Um, doesn't seem great though, because then I don't have a way to guarantee the boss. So I might just, and yeah, actually research seems better. So I'll grab this, I do have it, yeah. So I'm just gonna research, that makes the most sense. I'll lose the Intellion, it's not a big deal, because now my play is the... Um, now my play is the boss, right? So I'll go ahead and do this, get the Ludicolo, and then I'll go ahead and do this, get the Ludicolo as I mentioned, there we go. Do you want to use the ability, and then I'll thin the Drizzle, we're just going all out with the research right here, thinning as much as I can. There we go. And research. And okay, get plenty of energy, which is fantastic. I'll go ahead and attach the water in case they play like a random fan of waves. Um, I will also place the two damage counters here. And then I will actually go ahead and scoop up net the Intellion, right? Which does give me access. Uh, okay, so thinning the drizzle was probably a mistake. I mean, now I have access to boss at any point I want with um, either this or this. If I get Marnie, though, that's not ideal. So I'm actually... Wait, if I get Marnie... Yeah, I still... I need boss and energy. So I won't do that. That might have been a mistake. We'll see. We'll see. But we're in a very good spot. You know, we're in a spot where we... All we need is a boss to win. Well, boss and energy. Um, actually, not energy because it, we have the stadium. So actually, I should have played the bucket and grabbed the two cards and put them at the top of my deck. Okay. Um, don't need Ludicolo anymore. Don't need Intillion anymore. That's completely fine. Um, I still have enough power to kill the Crobat, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Ooh, oh, wow. Actually, I still have Suikun's left, I guess. Uh, they, they already Avery'd, so I should be fine here. They already used Avery, so I should be fine. I'm not getting Marnied. I'm actually not getting more needs, so all I need to do is go boss KO Crobat, and that's the game. So off of my Tillin, I'll grab boss plus um, quick ball, and then with capture energy, I should be good, I think. I think. And even if I'm not good, afterwards I can right hand onto Intillion, because I'll be 20 damage short. Worst case scenario, so that I can right hand into Antillion and target down with Crobat. And target down the Crobat, rather, with the Aqua Bullet attack, so we are good to go. Alright, I mean, they're also down all their energies. Um, that retreat doesn't really make much sense, in my opinion. But hey, who am I to judge? Um, Alright, I should have Suicune, I do have a Suicune left. 
Is that enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 160. It's actually not enough. <laughs> this is actually not enough. Um, okay. So I should, oh, it's actually not enough. All right. So I'll go ahead and do um, this for the boss. Ooh. Mm. What if I go escape rope? No, that's not good enough. No. Oof, if I get Marnied, I'm actually gonna be in trouble. I might have messed this up actually. Oh, I needed to conserve the quick shooting in Tillion, I guess. Oof, okay, fleet footed. Marnie. Yeah, the issue is I have the right hand and the Intillion right here. That is the issue. And both of my quick shooting Intillions are gone. So, if I get Marnie here, I'm actually in a lot of trouble. Ugh. So what I should have done, I guess, was Melanie onto the active. No, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, actually, no, never mind. I need to boss. I need to boss. No, I. Yeah, I don't know. I shouldn't have promoted this weekend. I should have Melanie onto the bench, powered up. Um, I don't know. I pr I definitely did it wrong. I absolutely did it wrong. I absolutely did it wrong. Yep. Yikes. <laughs> I just lost the match, I think. Oh, I, I really did that wrong. Should've, yeah. No, how? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I did that wrong. I'm honestly not sure. Ugh. I probably did something wrong right there. All right, cape doesn't really help me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shuffle the deck here. So I have one, two, three outs. I have three outs to win the game here. That's not it. Okay. So let's do this, let's do this, and it'll pass, unfortunately. I, I don't know, maybe I could have done things differently. I mean, my mistake was getting rid of the quick shooting dude, right? I should have just gotten rid of this too. Boom. That Avery was very well timed though, for sure. The Avery was very well. Okay, so two abilities there and attachment there. So no switching card. Okay, so we actually somehow won. <laughs> because my opponent whiffed this turn. We actually somehow won. They whiffed. A switch. All right. Um, so now we go like this. We'll promote this guy or this guy, and then we'll go boss KO this stupid crowbat. <laughs> Touch boss, and that was close. I feel like I could have done something differently there. Not entirely sure. They were playing more than one RT. They were playing three RT combos too. So I don't know. That list was not the um, not the most standard. That's for sure. Not the most standard. But hey, we got a solid, solid win. Is that really twenty minutes long? Wow. Was that the first game that I played? If if so, that took a long time. All right. So on to the next match. On to the next 
and match Rudy. Right. So twenty ninety two point one is this the famous translator like the French person living in Japan that's always tries translating cards could be could be um, my hand is not very good right now but it could drastically improve I need energy and quick wall in order to actually be able to use Melanie and start attacking on turn one which would be freaking fantastic. Going second against Lithian is pretty scary. Uh, I took a capture, but not quite what I was hoping for to be able to attack on turn one. There's actually no way now I attack on turn one, so that's pretty scary. Um, tool Jammer immediately and the stadium. So this Suigun is basically dead. <laughs> this Suigun is actually as good as dead. Very nice. Like, just that hand raw, that, the, the leaf hand, the thing, the thing, the capture energy, the two souls, like, you really can't ask for much more than that. You really can't ask for more than that. Okay, um, this is really sad. Late footed. <laughs> is actually atrocious. Like, who do I even capture energy for? another soul right but i mean leafing just goes back to back chaos on suikun and what do i even do i there's no way i went here unless my one majorly whiffs literally there's nothing for me to do right here and all i need is one vmax which given their start <laughs> you would expect them to have it there we go like it must be very nice to be able to handpick your cards. I don't know what that feels like, but it must be very, very freaking nice, dude, to handpick your starting hand. So we're going to see a drizzle chain for some reason, which I do not understand. But hey. Suboptimal plays, I rarely am ever able to punish them, so. Like, what's the point? What is the point of getting triple drizzle out? You're just limiting your search later on. That's all you're accomplishing. You are literally putting yourself in a worse position by doing this. So there's a VMAX finally, and then they will, um, they already have a supporter, clearly. <laughs> Obviously, right? So what did that accomplish? Now you don't have any drizzles to search for quick balls, to search for more energy, to search for a follow-up supporter next turn. Like it literally accomplishes nothing and is a terrible play unfortunately when players go first and get a hand-picked card a hand-picked hand we can't punish bad plays like that right and like sure i could have attacked back with suikun when then another suikun dies and then yeah like it's the game is basically over the one chance i had is if they didn't somehow build another Leaf and VMAX, which because they wasted their drizzle so badly, there was a chance that that would happen, but realistically, the chance is so low that I might just start a new game. <laughs> but seriously, like, well, <laughs> against Jolteon going second, awesome. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. really don't know what to say um, 
awesome that I top deck my other scoop of net to make sure that I don't get to use scoop of net the whole game. Um, fleet booted knife bucket with my only two water energies left. And I could just end up losing next game or next turn. Yeah. You go second, you lose. <laughs> it's that simple. You go second, you're tail one, you lose. There's a six again. Yeah, decides to target. Yeah, and there it is. Double six again in hand with the drizzle. No supporters, right? No supporters being played. Like, who needs to play supporters when you have the perfect hand picked hand? <laughs> That's two back to back games for my opponent. Just what cards do you need upon? Oh, this, these exact cards? Here you go. Simple. Very straightforward. Very simple. Um. Yeah, the Shadow Rider deck also got a pretty good start, right? With the Cresselia, the switching, the everything. <laughs> so, I somehow managed to win that, but I don't know. I just, I don't feel like I'm going to be very successful when when things start back up. Like, I'm someone saying you should use, like, look at my hand, right? Look at my hand going first versus my opponents and their hands going first. Um... Like someone was telling me, you should switch accounts. I do switch accounts. Like I'm playing the Tailman account right now, and I've been using the Tailman account for a long time. <laughs> it generally it happens in both. Like no, um, no difference, right? It, there's literally no difference to the crappy draws that I got. Literally none. Ah, uh, sure. Just in case I get more need. Okay, so I could maybe get a Drizzle, Level Ball, Incense, or Quick Ball off of the next two cards, right? So I have four Drizzle, four Level Ball, four Incense, and four Quick Ball. I have 16 cards that can help me attack next turn. We are going to see the perfect Cresselia hand yet again. <laughs> Perfect Grisely hand yet again against Shadow Rider. Um, I would not have found the Drizzle. I would not have found the Drizzle. Right. And there it is. Okay. All right. That gets me either Quick Ball or Melanie if I need it. So let's go Fleet Footed. All right, there we go. That gets me quick ball. And then now I need to draw another energy, right? But now we have a chance. Now we actually have a chance to attack this turn. So I'll get rid of the energy. Oh, I actually had the scoop of net anyways. Oops. Um, sure, let's just do Sobble. And then let's do this. We'll go for the Melanie. And now I need to draw an energy, which I have two buckets, a ton of captures, and I did price one of these. So we'll see. We shall see if we can get there. <laughs> um, I mean, we all knew it, but we didn't want to say it out loud. Uh, sure. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't, I really don't know what to say. <clears throat> I mean, at least my board is looking decent, right? <clears throat> So this might end up being similar to the previous game where I knock out Cretel and then I have to knock out something else on the bench. That's worth two prizes. Uh, we'll see. We shall see what we can do here. Hmm. 
All right, so we do get more need. Into, into whatever this is. <laughs> so if I rare candy, oh, I didn't lose my scoop of nets. That was in a different game, I guess. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So if my opponent goes Crobat here, oh, I mean, I actually wish you had the Crobat, bro. <laughs> I actually wish you had the Crobat. Okay, so this is Turbo Calyrex. So we're looking for another Articuno, right? Okay, if I somehow am able to get the double quick shooting, I mean, I don't need them this turn, but it would be fantastic. Um, I would actually be able to one-shot this Calyrex and I actually got them. Wow. <laughs> okay. I got very lucky right here. Yeah. No argument there. I got incredibly, incredibly lucky right here. Yep. And there's a concession. Double quick shooting plus the attack. That was knockout. And then they had three energy left, a zero card hand, and not a single Shadow Rider. So, I mean, I, don't know. <laughs> I wish games weren't like this swing in one way or the other you know i really wish they weren't if my opponent had gotten the knockout there crowbat wasn't prized and they had already gone and they knocked me out i was completely out of the game so it's like i was i was reading an article earlier today and it's like this metagame is really like there's not a lot of interaction between both players it's like look i have this cool strategy i do it flawlessly i beat you but you do yours flawlessly, you beat me. So whoever went first, you don't whiff, you win immediately. Um, you went first, but you whiffed at some point, then your opponent beats you if they don't whiff. So there's very little interaction, you know? I don't know. It's I don't know what to think. Like, this is definitely way better than last season. But three prizers just feel awful. Like, truly, truly awful. They're the worst thing. Like, if last season was the worst season ever of Pokemon, Three prize Pokemon are the worst thing to ever happen to Pokemon. But anyways, um, this is a very good deck for sure. Um, just don't lose to a hand-picked Lithian or don't play against a hand-picked Lithian. You're never beating Jolton most likely, but just like there's not much. Every deck has that awful, um, terrible matchup, right? So thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.